In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to set up PHP Storm to work with uh, PHP Code Sniffer. By default, uh, there are no plugins to install. PHP Storm already comes with uh, PHP Code Sniffer support. You simply have to tell it what directory the executable is in and then tell it what standard to use. So to do that, you need to click on uh, the configure and then preferences from your welcome screen. And we're going to type uh, code sniffer search and it's going to be under PHP code sniffer. Let's click the, the box here. We need to draw, let's pretend that there's nothing in here because there won't be. You'll need to grab the path um, to your executable. To do that on Mac OS, you simply type which PHP CS. It'll uh, spit out the, the path. On Windows, you would type where.exe and then PHP CS and it would spit out the path. And then you would simply paste that into the default code sniffer path right here and then click validate. If this guide turns green and shows you a version number, you're good to go. Now you need to set it up on a per project level. So let's click into a project, open it up. Let's uh, go full screen and we'll go to preferences and we'll need to type PHP code sniffer validation. Great. Here it is. Um, this is simply the, the plugin that comes with uh, PHP Storm. We need to activate it. So we need to click the checkbox and then you would open up this box and you would it would um, it would tell you, you know, ask you where the, the path is, which I've already set up. And then you would click the little refresh um, button and it'll show you all of the globally installed standards. Now, if you didn't watch any of my previous videos, what are these exactly? So if I go back to the command line and let's uh, cancel that and then we type phpcs-i, phpcs will list off all of the globally installed standards. So by default, phpcs comes with these, and then this is where I work. Um, this is our internal standard. I have the WordPress standards, and this is a client standard. So I have all of these available standards available via PHP Storm, and I can select my default standard here. Now, this standard only is applicable if there's not an annotated rule set in the project root. What do I mean by that? I've done a video um, earlier on annotated rule sets, but let me explain just really quick. So basically, I've now set up PHP Storm to use PHP CS by default um, and to use the WDS coding standards. However, in my project here, I already have a rule set. This is called an annotated rule set, and by default, PHP Storm and PHP CS will look for an annotated rule set at the project root first, and it will use whatever rule set it finds. If there is not a rule set in your project, it'll scan up the directory tree all the way until it finds this rule set. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. In our annotated rule set, we have some custom things like we're using WordPress Extra, but we're excluding these particular rules. We're including WordPress Docs and Squiz so that when I open up this file, um, you can see immediately I'm getting a PHP CS error. And if I hover over it, it's telling me exactly what's wrong. So I can add a space here and that squiggly line will go away. If I remove the space, the squiggly line will return. That's how we know PHP CS is working with PHP Storm.